try this and tell me what is going to be the answer c d is correct see fn here they are saying fn is equal to 2 to the power n fn is equal to 2 to the power n and gn is equal to n factorial and hn is equal to n to the power log n n to the power log n okay now take log on both side it is going to be log to the power n so it's going to be n log 2 base 2 we are going to get here sorry we are going to get here n here log n factorial log n factorial you know that it is going to be n log n it is going to be n log n by sterling approximation it is going to be n log n then here again if you take the log it is going to be your log n to the power log n so log n will come base 2 then log n base 2 so see here now can i say that if n is big o of g n this is smaller than g n ok if n is smaller if n is equal to big o of g n then if you take n equal this is greater than this one so h n is smaller than f n if you take f n see if you are getting confused then take some number like n equal to 2 to the power 1024 so here you are going to get 2 to the power 1024 here you are going to get 2 to the power 1024 into 2 to the power 10 because the power term will come here so it is going to be 2 to the power 1034 and here you are going to get 2 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10 then you are going to get 2 to the power 20 okay so the smallest term is hn so hn is smaller than big o of fn hn is even is smaller than gn so hn is always going to be hn is now equal to big o of gn now see if now which option is satisfying hn is equal to big o of gn See here is saying HN is big of GN. Yeah, this, this is true. HN, HN, HN is big of. Yeah, correct. This is also true. Now see here, FN, uh, let us take of GN and HN. So in between these two, this GN is greater. So HN is big of GN. So oh, that I have already written. Okay, let me erase that. So, if in one minute, so if in have uh, considered with gn, now if in with hn also have did now gn, gn and hn also we have did gn and hn, yeah, to so hn and fn, yeah. Now see the option, now see the option and try to eliminate. Now it is saying that if n is smaller than equal to gn, if n is smaller than equal to gn. If any, yeah, it's true. This one is correct. If n is smaller than yeah, correct. Now it's saying gn is smaller than hn. They are saying that gn is smaller than gn is smaller than hn. But it is not true. It is not true. Hn is not greater. It is not true. Am I clear? Hn is not greater. Okay. So this is false. So a is false. So a is false. This is false. Hn is never going to be the greater one. Hn is not greater. So this is also false. Now see here Gn and Fn is saying. Gn and Fn. So here it's saying that Gn is smaller than Fn. But you have seen that Gn is going to be the greater one. Gn is the greater one. It is. It is Gn is greater. Fn is equal to Gn. Not Gn is equal. So this is also incorrect. So this is true. If Hn is smaller than Fn and Gn is greater than Fn. It is gn is greater than equal to c fn. Understood? So d is the correct one. Anyone having any doubt? Is it clear? 